Hi, welcome to the Ivory Egg Technical Bulletin. Today we're going to have a quick look at how you can combine Amazon Alexa with a Gear X1 to enable voice control of a home. If you're already using an X1 in a project, maybe in your home or one of your customers' projects, then it's going to be very simple to add Alexa into the installation. For it to work though, you will need to have a Gear S1. Now the S1 is what creates a secure connection from the X1 to the Gear portal. Amazon Alexa will also make a connection to the Gear portal. So via the two devices, you'll be able to have voice control over your home. Alexa scans the existing functions on your X1, so there's no additional configuration needed. But not all functions will come through, only the ones that make sense to be controlled by voice, such as switching or dimming, positioning the blinds. You can also change the color of RGB fittings or even the color temperature of uh, tunable white fittings. You can also trigger scenes that are stored either internally on the X1 or via KNX. The process for configuring is very simple because it uses the existing configuration on the X1. So first program your X1 for controlling all the different devices in the rooms, add an S1 into the project and make the connection from the S1 to the portal. And then all the rest of the configuration is done on the Amazon Alexa app. Now this is done with the homeowner or the owner of the Alexa logged in. You wouldn't be able to set it up on behalf of the homeowner unless they're willing to hand over Amazon Alexa login. It is more designed for them to do it themselves, but it's really simple so that shouldn't be an issue. So download the skillet and it'll ask you to log into the Gear portal use that with the user access details to the gear portal and then once you've done that you can scroll down and you can log into the gear x1 again using the user access details and then you can link device that creates the connection from amazon alexa through to the x1 via the gear portal and the s1 you're then able to run device discovery in Alexa, which will scan the X1 and list any functions that you're able to control. They will automatically be populated with the function name. These can be renamed to something that's more friendly for voice, because what we would read isn't always the most logical thing to say. So within the Alexa app, you're able to rename any of the functions. You can also group them together or add them to rooms. Now the rooms is a really neat function. If you've got devices in multiple rooms, different echo dots, for example, and assuming that device is associated to the room, you don't need to say the room name for the function to work. So you can walk into your kitchen and say lights on, and it will turn the kitchen lights on. If you walk into a bedroom and say lights on, it will turn the bedroom lights on. But again, these more advanced functions are all done within the Alexa app. They're not done on the X1. Now, although the connection is made automatically between the Alexa and the Gear portal through to the S1 and the X1, you can actually see the connection within the S1 remote access details. It will automatically create a remote access path. It's labeled Alexa account linking. What that means is you can actually disable the remote access from the portal if you needed without doing that via Alexa. That's it for this short overview. Voice is a fantastic way of controlling a home, particularly for the more central or main room functions like lights on, maybe triggering a scene or doing a room off or a building off. For more information about the Gear X1, please check out the Ivory Egg website or you can have a look at the Gear website or even the Gear Academy, which is a great resource uh, with loads of different training courses. Thanks for watching this Ivory Egg Technical Bulletin.